Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good day. Gord here. You're hit. You're hurting. Hippie. That was hard. Huh? Words are hard. Friends, welcome to my weekend river walk. And plus 19. Plus 19 feels like 19. Very likely no rain today. And sometimes I just wonder why every time I go to talk, a plane comes overhead. Friends, yes, built in the 60s. Original, unrestored, some parts still work. Not bad, huh? I'm a classic. Yeah, friends, we're off to the river. I have, I've been to the river twice this week, didn't record, it was too hot. The, the birds were not hanging out, they were not talking, they were not coming to talk. Boy, the colors today are just vibrant. Squirrel. Yes, I'm heading down there. I have no medicine on me. Today's going to be a medical free day for me. For a little while anyway, because I got one heck of a migraine. And I'm hoping that a walk in the river helps subdue this. This probably goes up on Sunday. It is Saturday right now. And an absolutely beautiful weekend ahead of me. I still have two weekends without Pasha while he's away in Europe. Lucky boy. I wish I could share some of the stuff he's sharing, but that's for him, not for me. Ooh, <laughs> a crow just raced right by me. This, I hope, is a day for the birds because, friends, I haven't seen many lately. The osprey has two babies, and I did see them. Here's a picture, just very, very hard to get a good view. But by now, that was two weeks ago. By now, there's a good chance that they're flying. Because what the osprey will do is just dump them off the edge. When it's time, just dump them off the edge. It's either fly or die, and that's how cruel nature can be, and life can be. Yes, there's a hidden meaning in that statement. Let's stop uh, sugarcoating this world for our kids. Their growing up is supposed to be full of adversity and difficulty so that they can grow and become an adult strong and able to meet what comes to them. And that might be a part of the trouble we have right now. And yes, I always have a few things to say when I'm heading to the river. So, although again, my vertigo is bothering me, we're just gonna do a, a regular conversion to the river just to... <laughs> You know? So let's go. River. Now. Wow, friends. Look at that sun. I made it to the park. And it's packed. It's absolutely packed and the smell of cannabis is really strong. Let's get to a place we can talk. Well, here we are. I thought I'd show you it all. It's all African, Caribbean, Jamaican. So Hilltop family. This one's for you, my brother from another mother. One love. Look around here. There's uh, music. There's food. There's... Oh, no, you weren't, but now you are. <laughs> Thank you. This is so cool. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, bye. Okay, I just bought some Jamaican cake, and I'll explain it later. I uh, had to, had to. Shanique said hi to Hilltop family, because I told her I had a friend from Jamaica. And uh, this is Jamaican cake. In fact, I should show it to you. 
it's called grater cake. It's just coconut and sugar. And we'll see what it tastes like when I get home. And we'll see what this is like because my goodness, this is a fun day. I heard some wrap off in the distance. So we're gonna have a lot going on. We'll have to see if we can talk to the birds because the very next thing I wanna do is feed the birds. And then I'm gonna put a video up for you all. Music and maybe maybe we'll get some good reggae or good Jamaican music for this day here in this beautiful park called St. Patrick's Island Park. Friends, be right with you, hopefully, with the bird. If it's music next, the birds didn't come around. Peace! Once again, I struck zero for birdies out here in the bush. It's okay. It's a real festival down here. So I'm having fun and I'm getting bit to death by mosquitoes out here because I'm walking through the bush to try and get more to view. So friends, let's turn on the music. Let's get things going. And uh, Oh boy, I am in the deepest of bush here now and I gotta find my way out. It's freaking beautiful in here. Butterflies everywhere, pretty little flowers. And pretty soon there's gonna be food and everything else to enjoy. So pitter patter, let's get at her. I'll put on the music and we'll talk soon. Friends, here we go. Just leaving the park, letting some people walk by so that I can continue to talk. Here goes Anne. 
here we are. What a trip that was. You saw quite a few really good shots of the Osprey. Uh, that might have been her baby, but I don't think so. I don't think they'd be that big already, but maybe. It's really hard to tell that far away and zoomed in, but maybe I'll know more when I see it in edit and I'll be bugging y'all with something down here. But hey, that's the hippie way. Friends, this was great. I spent a long time actually right now on top of that structure is the Osprey. Really hard to see it. And really hard. There we go. And really hard to get the focus back. Really hard to see from here. But no, I think that's Mama just watching her. Because usually it's around August when she starts dropping the babies off the edge. And uh, letting them fly. So... I'm going to finish this off. What a really, really good day. I think I've said that a bunch of times, but I did have some of my medicine while I was in there trying to find the birds. And I'm glad even though I didn't see the chickadee, I said hey, hey to my osprey. That wasn't too bad for off the cuff. There's good music, there's really good people. I lit a bit of my medicine and people came by to, hey, can we share that with you? Felt like old days, you know? So friends, keep a smile on. And if you haven't got one, find one. Because it's there. I know it is. I used to be able to tease a smile out of anybody. So I'll tease a smile. Out of all y'all. Get out. Do stuff. Have fun. Get exercise. Get fresh air. Get out of the house. And not in that car, my friends. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.